Hello, sweet souls. Happy. What is today? Tuesday, October 1st. This is your second reading. Um, the first reading is about the October forecast. And I thought I was sitting here thinking, maybe I should give you the uh, shortened version of the October forecast if you haven't seen part one. <laughs> Which I would say the October forecast would be cloudy with a chance of BS. But don't worry because there's going to be a front that comes in and moves the BS north into the light, clearing out, um, burning off the cloudiness and allowing for the rainbow to shine. How's that sound? <laughs> I thought I would give you a little summary. All right, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Um, I'm going to do a career in finance for October. Let's see what we got coming in, guys. So let's just see. Career and finance for the month of October for the collective. Those that are drawn to this video whenever they're drawn to it. It's timeless reading, reading so you know it doesn't have to be on October 1st, guys. Just take what resonates, okay? Let's see. Holy Spirit, for the month of October, career and finance, what can the collective expect, expect career and finance? October. October. Career and finance for the month of October. For the month of October. Okay, they're not even letting me. Not even letting me shuffle. For the month of October. Career and finance. Wow, you guys. Career and finance. You guys, this is flipping amazing. All right, Knight of Pentacles, a new opportunity, a new investment is coming in. This is going to be possibly an investment you've been waiting on. It's coming in. This is going to allow you um, to embrace a brand new beginning. This could be an expansion of your business. This can be a new job offer. Whatever this is, it's long lasting. It brings in stability, four of wands, a lot of stability in career and finance. This is spiritually led by God. The chariot to the hierophant. This can lead to a new contract. You signing a new contract. Um, you know, an agreement. Going into collaboration with other people. But it leads to victory. And this is God that's bringing it in. They said, stand your ground. You are strong. You are confident. Stand your ground. Okay? And this, not just physically, energetically, stand your ground. You know, you, we know people would love more than anything to mess up the good things happening in your life. But it's not up to them. It's between you and God. If they don't like the, the positive things that are happening in your career sector, your financial sector, they can take it up with God. All right, let's look at this. Let's clarify these. Career and finance for the collective for the month of October. Please clarify Knight of Pentacles for the month of October. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Career and finance. Career and finance. Okay, come on now. Career and finance for the month of October. Yeah, look at this. This is good news. This is a new investment. You could be learning something new, taking a seminar, going to school. You don't have to. This is just this, this opportunity that's coming in in career and finance is good news, and it, and it leads to you making a new investment. I love that. All right, career and finance, page of cups for the collective, page of cups. Page of Cups. Career and Finance. For the Collective. Look at that. Yeah, this is a new investment that is going to lead to you receiving. This is finances, financial abundance, Six of Pentacles, you receiving. I love that. <clears throat> All right, Four of Wands. In the Career and Finance, this is stability. This can be a new home coming in for you. Um, it's, or it's leading to a new home. In this image, you can see there's a home in the background. They're celebrating. Career and finance for October for the collective. Four of wands. Four of wands. Wow. It's coming in quick. Knight of swords. It's coming in quick. And queen of pentacles, it's going to elevate your financial stability. You know, even if you don't see the growth in October, you're going to start it in October and it's just going to continue to grow. This is definitely something that you have manifested, Collective. Career and finance for 
The month of October. Chariot. For the collective. Yeah, any interference is being blocked. Three of Pentacles on the fence. Anyone that has tried to block your collaborations, it's being blocked because you are receiving your justice in career and finance in October. So if someone tried to block your ability to create resources in your career sector, it's going to be blocked in October. I love this. All right. Career and finance. Uh, wise counselor. Wise counselor. Career and finance. Yeah. You're going to take passionate action. And it's going to bring in happiness and success. You are going to be this, this leader. You're going to step into this leadership role. You could be uh, receiving a job opportunity where you are the boss. <clears throat> this could be you taking inspired action um, as it pertains to your own business, an expansion. You being a leader here in some way is going to bring in a lot of success in the month of October. This could be a shocking change for you. Definitely. But this change is bringing in multiple wishes. This is uh, allowing you to move on in this Empress energy. Wow. All right. Let's look at the Nine of Wands, career and finance, standing your ground, standing for what it is you know is right for you. Career and finance, Nine of Wands. Yeah, because you have someone from the past that wants to come back in and get in your head when it comes to how you make money. You know, it, it would be an example I would give. So this would be like, I'm spiritual. My work is spiritual. Someone from my past coming in and trying to make me feel bad or regret what I do or tell me it's evil or wrong. It's that kind of energy. That cycle's closed with that person. Their thoughts, their opinions is not your business. Is not your concern. Stand your ground. This is a passionate endeavor that God has brought to you. If this person wants to come in and try to confuse you, stick with the facts. God inspired you to create something for a reason. This person doesn't have the knowledge that you have. So stand your ground. Stand your ground. All right. Let's do another round. I like it so far, guys. It looks like some shifts are happening in the month of October as it pertains to your career. Um, these are new investments. They're going to lead to financial resources. We have a lot of pentacles out here. All right. Knight of Pentacles. This is good news. Good news because this is leading to you making a new investment. Career and finance for October. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you planting good seeds. And of course, people aren't going to be happy about it. People are not going to be happy about your success. You can't look better than them. Who cares? Just live your best life. Don't worry about what anyone has to say. Page of Cups, this is you. Embracing a brand new beginning, a new start. And with the Six of Pentacles, you receiving what you deserve. This is financial resources. Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, for October, career and finance. Yep, Eight of Pentacles, mastering a skill, being very proficient at something, being very diligent at work and it paying off. You go from the Six of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. Financial resources, stability. And then we can see the Four of Wands. For October, this is a lot more stability. This is celebration. Some of you, this could be you buying a home from the resources gained. What's coming in quick is more stability. Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Please clarify. Career and Finance, Four of Wands, Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles for the collective. Career and Finance. You know, maybe you've been um, with, in the Two of Pentacles, you know, been working hard, trying to um, create balance in your finances, you know, Maybe things have not been easy, but being in this Queen of Cups energy coming from a, a space of love, it has shifted this energy, and that's why we see an increase in your finances. That's why we see stability. Yeah, there were certain things with the Queen of Swords that you needed to rework, cut out, walk away from. This could also be seeing clearly a mindset. Queen of Swords, you know, 
looking at things analytically, the truth, and, and not from an emotional standpoint. Um, career and finance, the chariot, you're moving on to victory. Anyone um, in a group that has been trying to block you are now being blocked and justice is being served. Fairness is coming in in your career and finance. Chariot, career and finance for the collective. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> You're the high priestess, relying on your intuition, being spiritually led to the queen of swords. Figuring out what, what you need to release in order to gain momentum in your career sector. So I definitely feel like you're sticking with the facts. You're relying on your intuition, but you are sticking with the facts and you are manifesting. And this, whatever it is you're manifesting in the career sector, it is paying off. It is. So with Wise Counselor, we can see um, God's inspiring you. God's bringing in new opportunities. You're taking passionate action. You are this leader. And by you taking the leadership role here in career and finance, taking charge, you're calling in happiness and success. Please clarify career and finance. Wise counselor. Wise counselor. Yeah, by you walking away from a person, place, a thing, you have this protection now. You're on your, de you're on your destined path or you're being guided toward your destined path in this empress energy. Yeah, co-creating with God. <laughs> co-creating with God. That's exactly right. I love it. Okay. So with the nine of wands, the divine is saying, stand your ground. You got people that are going to try to come in and get in your head about what you do for work. That cycle's closed. Their thoughts and opinions is not your business. It's not, you're not your concern. Let this person mouth off about whatever they want. I mean, somebody in dark, low vibrational energy has no right to come in and tell you that what you do is wrong. If, they're, if we're talking about the example I gave of being, you know, spiritual, they have no right. I mean, who are they to point the finger at you? Yeah, this is someone that is just upset. The reason they want to come in is because they went down the wrong path thinking they were going to win. They are, were no match for you, the magician. No match for you. No match. And so they want to come in and just spoil your opportunities. It's not going to work. Give it up give it up look can't make it up devil they're dark low vibrational and they're toxic they're also obsessed with your life why because ace of pentacles you're calling in new opportunities for financial gain and why do you think that is because your priorities are straight you come from a space of love you are passionate about something because god has inspired you to be passionate about something you're not obsessed with money you are not in love with money that's not your priority of course, we need financial resources um, to exist in this earthly realm. But you are not materialistic like this person. You're not obsessed with money. And this is why you're being blessed. This is why expansion is occurring in your career sector. You know, people that, that are obsessed with money, that would do anything for money, they end up losing everything. They lose everything. Let's look, guys. Let's pull from another deck. Whew. Mama. Mama. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I just heard that song. I didn't mean to make you cry. Mm, I don't even know all the words to that song. At least not right now. All right. Career and finance for the collective. Career and finance for October, the month of October. A wish is being granted. You have proven to the spiritual realm your resilience, your strength, strength of will is leading to victory, success, and public recognition. Victory, recognition, success, pride of achievement, confidence boost, milestone. Career and finance. And then we got St. Michael here. Blocking people left and right. I just saw a ninja. St. Michael is like, you will not interfere with what God has called this soul to do. 
St. Michael blocking people left and right by whatever means he deems necessary so that you will receive what you deserve. Thank you, St. Michael. Thank you, St. Michael. St. Michael's well aware of who's been holding on to your energy. I wanted to say sniffing around your energy. Um, St. Michael's well aware of who's been projecting uh, financial loss or, you know, things falling apart for you. St. Michael's very aware. He's also aware of what's destined for you. And when the Wheel of Fortune comes out in the upright, this is a part of what is fated for you. No one, no mere mortal, no otherworldly being can interfere with your fate and destiny because it comes from God. That's right. Somebody's going to learn a, a lesson here about interfering. I also got this download yesterday that somebody's been trying to get in your energy and every time they get in your energy, they get sick. They're not putting two and two together. You know, I'm trying to think of the analogy, but it's like when you try to go into, okay, thank you, spirit. They said, when you're not used to breathing in high altitudes, right? So you decide you're going to climb Mount Everest, but you've never climbed Mount Everest before. You're in this high altitude. It's going to wreck your body because you're not used to being at that altitude. It's the same for whoever this dark, low vibrational karmic energy is that is continually trying to get into your energy. They are not accustomed to your energy. It's too high vibrational, too high, high altitude, right? So every time they try to energetically dip into your energy, whether it's through their thoughts, their projections, astro travel, whatever they're doing, they're going to have physical symptoms. Because their body, their energy is not acclimated to that high of a vibration. I want to say that to someone because that came to me last night. All right, career and finance. The sun, happiness and success, that is faded, collective. It is faded. What does that mean? Nobody can take it from you. Nobody can interfere. Now you have to believe, you have to take inspired action, you have to be in a high vibration, but no one external can you, from you can take this from you, period. Yeah, and somebody here that has been trying is going to be stopped or blocked. Knight of Pentacles on the fence, Nine of Swords. They are going to be unwell if they continue to try to interfere in God's plan for you, God's Career and finance, whatever God's guiding you to do, they're going to wreck themselves. They're going to wreck themselves. They need to stop. Yep, you're planting good seeds. You're moving on. You're being spiritually guided. You're calling in a lot of peace in your career sector. So if you've been at a stressful job, don't be surprised if you get laid off or fired. I'm not saying you're going to get laid off or fired, but if you do, do not be devastated. If you're praying for a new opportunity and the universe wipes out what doesn't serve you, how can you be upset? Just start thanking, thanking God, thanking the spiritual realm for bringing in, aligning an amazing new opportunity because that's why it's happening, to create space for a new opportunity. Look at this. Leveling up to the King of Pentacles to the Four of Wands. This came out earlier. This is you. Creative confident stable four of wands stability celebration possibly a new home for some of you it's justice it's your justice for you to have financial stability in your career sector it is justice for all the bs you have been through all the bs you've been through if somebody stole from you this is a blessing for you because of that if someone abandoned or rejected you or left you in a spot where you were in a financial deficit this is exactly why it's happening it's a it's a reward for you <sighs> yeah you know i feel like you have been holding back protecting your energy you could be saving money but a fresh start's coming so if you've been working hard trying to create a balance in your resources your finances it looks like 
dark to light. You're stepping into a new phase, a new cycle, where it's a fresh new start. Career and finance for October. Yeah, this is going to restore a lot. Four of Swords, this is healing. This could be healing a money wound. Healing your, your stress around money. Career and finance. I definitely want to know, High Priestess, you may be feeling something is coming in. There's going to be a shift happening in my career sector or my business. My business has been slow, but it's about to pick up. I can feel it. Whatever it is, your, your intuition is definitely guiding you. I definitely want you guys to comment uh, for the month of October when new opportunities come in. Let me know. I want to know. I want to hear about it. Uh, do your part. Be responsible energetically and do your part. Stay in a high vibration and love and gratitude. Envisioning what you want for your career and finance. Do your part. I just want to say that. Yeah. You may not see it with the moon on the fence, but it's coming in quick. Chariot, it leads to victory. Bottom of the deck, you're going to make progress. It says timing one to two weeks. Gaining strength, final steps, and increase. You guys, let me know. I, I give thanks and gratitude and prayer when you guys have amazing things happen, when you have a success. I, I definitely do because I pray for you guys every night. I pray uh, for your intentions. I pray for financial security, stability, your healing, your protection. Every single day I pray that. So when somebody comes to me and says, I got a new job or I have more resources, I go in prayer and I thank God for it because I've been praying for you. So I give thanks and gratitude. So let me know, guys. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I am scheduling for next week. I, I only take limited appointments now. So schedule sooner than later. And um, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. If you're interested in our podcast, it's also there. It's about relationship issues. You can find all of my links, the bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. I love you guys, and uh, we'll see you on the third reading. Uh, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.